Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 17th episode of the RPG tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be setting up overhead health bars for our AI, which will display a widget over the, the uh, AI's head, and it will basically display the amount of health they have left. So without further ado, we'll get into that. I was just setting up, re quickly set up a little bench here for my weapons, the cube. And then I just set it to the ramp material, in case you wanted to do that. It's nothing big, but, uh, anyway, the first thing we're going to want to do is create a widgets folder. And in here, we want to create a widget in user interfaces widget, and we'll call this Ouija. W G uh <laughs> health bar. And we'll open up that. And we will need a progress bar in here. So we want to search progress. And we'll just slap that in there. And we'll set an anchor to the center. And we'll set the position to zero and zero. We'll, you notice it's off center a little bit. You simply set this to 0.5 and 0.5. That'll be in the center. And for the size, it's going to be 100 by 10. So it's a little skinny one. Let's select our progress bar. I'm just going to turn the present up to 75 so we can see both values. And for some reason, it's showing up all funny like that. So we'll... I'll fix that in one moment. Okay, first thing we're going to do is set up the... background image and I'm just going to set this to a tint of red more red and I'm going to set the opacity to like 0.87 maybe it's good so we'll give us this red and the fill image will want a green color that right there will do. And we'll keep this at full opacity. For the tints, um, and there we go, it seemed to fix itself. So I'm going to step this to, oh, this is, I, I said 75, and not point seventy five, of course. So now we want to open up our graph. And the first thing we're going to go do is go to our class settings and the damage interface that we created yesterday or in the last video. We will call that right here. And we can delete all these out of here. I'm going to rename this health bar to progress bar to health bar. Set a pile, and then in here we want to, now that we have our class called damage, we want to call event update health, which is the second event we created in our interface, and it should have this. So you want to drag out, or first you want to gr bring your health bar variable in here. This is reference for the the progress bar, you want to set percent, and a float is a value from zero to one, and so what we want to use from one zero to one hundred. So we want to divide the divide divide this 
by float, and this will be divided by 100. So the health input is, so the health that's getting sent in is 100. Say we have 100 health, and if it's divided by 100, it will be 1. So we have 97 health, and it's divided by 100, it will input uh, 0 0.97, for example. So it'll give it the, the proper float value to set the bar properly. So now that we have that done, we'll comment it. Since the value of the well, this widget is attached to. And the value input is 1 to 100, so we need to divide it by 100 to get a float value, which is 0 to 1. Hope that makes sense. I will get rid of this bubble. Who likes the bubbles? They're not so bad, but they do get really messy really fast. So there's that. Now we want to go to our AI. So we'll go to our Blueprints AI and Master AI. We already have our stats component in here. If you don't have the begin play, you might have deleted it. You can just call that right there like that. And we are going to update the health when AI is created. So we're going to get our stats component. Stats. And then break this so we can get the AI's stats, which includes our health. And we want to... Okay, first we need to add a widget to our character, our AI. So widget I'm going to attach, put it on the player like this. And it's going to be screen. I want to set to our health bar widget. Compile and save. I'm just going to set this to world so I can set the position and see it in game. And I'm going to rotate it 90. Or, um, our master AI is actually rotated improperly here, I believe. Yeah, we didn't set the position of them because we don't actually use them. So we'll set the position to 90 and 90. And then we'll reset this rotation. And nope, we will rotate this back 90. So now that we have we have our overhead health bars, we can maybe bring it up slightly. So now that we have that, we want to update it on begin play. So from here we want to grab our we'll rename our widget to health bar. And We will update health, and that will be a message through our interface. And this will set, and this will send the message to this event right here every time it's played through the AI. And we'll plug in our health variable so that it knows to set our health to whatever the AI's health is on the play. So now we see that we have our default with a 75% build, but when we play, it does nothing. Okay. Um, browse. I'm going to go to my dummy. Open him up. Yeah, this is why. You want to right click on this and add call to parent and plug that in. And I'm pretty sure. The attack dummy's health is set. Then we should get it working now. 
No. Okay. Definitely missing something. Something that I overlooked. Oh, yeah. There is something that I overlooked. This health bar. Need to get user widget object. Plug this in. Now I'll we'll test it. There we go. Yeah, that was the problem. We shouldn't be updating on damage yet, so now we want to update our health on damage. So we go to our master AI and we grab all this, copy it, and then our hit event. Just after it sets health value, before it sets the AI is dead. We're going to paste this in. And this will just update our health bar every time this, whenever this plays for health value. So, uh, this update health bar widget with the new health value after damage was taken. And we'll comment our other one. Comment this whole thing, begin play. Spread out a bit. Comment this as update the health widget when the AI is created. I'm just going to check this out. Uh, And let's test that out. We can be able to do damage to our AI now. Oh, and our widgets stick to our AI. So to fix that. We we'll want to go in to our a master AI and the event hit to destroy component. We will also plug in our health component. So this component will be destroyed on death. Now we play. The widget's destroyed. Okay. So that's everything for this video. Just gonna double check everything. Yep. That'll be everything for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or join my Discord. If you like the video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.